No, I actually don't want to tell. I mean, I can tell what happened. It was a glass that uh, uh, broke. Okay. And I tried to actually um, stop it before it's going to fall down. And uh, I think my right hand was too strong. <laughs> and I broke it. And uh, while it broke, it basically uh, cut my uh, hand. And so, yeah, it was pretty bad. A lot of blood. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think <laughs> I'm doing boxing since. 10 years and it was the first time I was like maybe my right hand was just too strong <laughs> trying to keep the glass so yeah it's um it's getting better but it's still not very yeah. fine but and are you right-handed yeah so... but I'm turning into like a left okay. hand now and uh, I, I realized actually everything is working with left as well okay. but I hope actually I should actually uh, use it uh, normally but you know and once it starts hurting you like tend to like use more your left hand yeah. and now I'm I uh, my brain has to like think back like okay you have your right hand still please use it but yeah actually now it no not really I did some like I did I think it was something with uh, not clay but now where I do it like that it reminds me of dog like dog of bread okay and uh, not, not a doggy doing bread with, uh, and um, and I did something with. Uh, it was a project based on bread for an exhibition, and I put it on a, on, on the face of a friend of mine, and she was. And that, it was actually the time when I started photographing, and I was still experimenting and trying stuff out, and wasn't quite sure what I really want to do. And it was something where I did portraits with her, um, using different kind of breads, and one of that was the dog was on her on her face. She had to sit like still with this thing on her face for half an hour and I had to go the photos and he's a very good friend of mine who was very patient. But um, yeah, this maybe this is what reminds me of that right now. But of my childhood, I don't know actually, I don't think I was really playing with this kind, mm. kind of um, kind of things. It's familiar but I don't remember anything in particular. So mm. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I think you're um, constantly deconstructing yourself in like in a way of like creating new work. You're always trying maybe not doing it the same way you did uh, the work before and trying to maybe switch your ideas to something else. And I mean also with me, I mean photography is like thing you're uh, or in every kind of artistic work, I guess you're trying to find your red line. But um, I think at the same point it's also about challenging yourself because you don't want to do always the same thing. And so I guess in that point you may be trying to deconstruct constantly your your ideas and your influences, your inspirations, and and through that you're constructing new new things. So um, I think it happens indirectly. You mm -hmm. talk, yeah. So more mentally maybe than than uh, doing it. I wouldn't say it was more aggressive because I don't think my work like that but um, I guess yeah I mean I, I realized when I started um, I think my like um, my photography was way more maybe naive in in way of terms of um, not thinking so much of like, like what's gonna be the outcome or how you're gonna um, do it how, how do you want to create your work and it was more intuit intuitive. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's still, but I realized the more you're working with photography or um, and creating stuff, you're um, you're thinking way more and questioning yourself and um, and yeah. So I guess in that term, it's it's more you're getting more mature in in way of um, how do you create something. And I'm kind of sometimes I'm I'm really missing that of knowing okay. You're, you're so naive and intuitive with your work at the beginning and then, you know, it, this changes more and more. Mm. But, um, yeah, it's a constant struggle of like being that and being that, but I guess in that term it's...
it wouldn't work for me. Yeah. I think I, um, yeah, I still like it when it has this um, kind of pure realness and rawness that you don't influence so much. Mm. But then, of course, you are always. It's always subjective anyway. It's never that it's um, neutral or something. Even, even if you don't um, stage it, it's still your cropping, your vision, your kind of um, way of seeing it. So, yeah. I think both. I mean, of course, I'm looking for a kind of contrast of always finding two maybe perspectives on, a, on something, if it's on a place or people or anything. Um, but yeah, but then also there's the things that are in front of me, I, um, they're just there. I think maybe it's also the way, maybe what I'm looking for and what I'm searching. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely I think it's, it's a lot about uh, <clears throat> the, the contrast and uh, the positive and the negative or the, the, the good and the bad and, and all these struggles in, in between and, and in that, in that uh, the, the lines in between. So because nothing is black and white, it's always about the, the gray zone and, and the in between. So, but in, yeah, in there I think there's a const, constant contrast. Well, I mean, in terms of being at a place where it's dangerous or, I mean, you said the Rio and the favelas, um, yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, there, there are um, definitely zones that are very dangerous and there are places, that, especially in Rio, I felt that a lot. Um, but then it's always about being with, with people that live there and locals and, and, and people you trust and, and, and in there, for me, at least creating a, a comfort zone where I feel I can create something and if that's not the case, I don't want to shoot. I can't shoot, I can't, I can't do, I can't create anything. So it's, uh, even if it's the strangest place, I need to feel comfortable somehow to, to do something. And, and yeah, so mm. I think that's my... <laughs> I think this was pretty much an organic process. Like, um, I don't, I think it's, it's always hard for me to read my own pictures because um, when I see them or when I create them or when, what, however they happen, it's, um, I don't analyze them so much. I think it's the other people, like yeah. the viewer or the other people who like uh, see them, it's, um, it's them maybe that I, yeah, that, that, I mean, I like it that you said like, oh, they're so, like every time you look at them, they maybe rise certain question or you're seeing something new or reading them differently and um, this is great for me because that's what I want. I think it's, um, I think the more maybe questions on an uh, image rises, the more interesting it maybe gets at least for me. So, um, and um, if it's, if it's too straightforward and too like easy to read or maybe too simple, it, it can be a good picture as well, but um, I think it, these are the kind of pictures that are easily also get getting boring and you're all looking at it and it's like, okay, well, I get it, like, next or something. And um, so, yeah, I think I'm definitely in that term uh, um, looking also for images that are maybe for me complex and I don't really get it or but then it's maybe something that how I felt in that situation or in that place or with these people and um, I mean, most of the places I go, they are um, they're foreign for me, they're strange for me, so I'm trying to sum them up or trying to find some kind of conclusion how my view was or how the essence I took out of it um, was or is for me. Mm -hmm. So, and, and in that there is a lot of complexity, complexity, <laughs> and um, complexity as the word itself. <laughs> so yeah, that, so I guess I couldn't even create just these kind of simple images because these places are not simple and, and people are not simple and the whole world is not simple. So. For me it's I think easier at these kind of places to find yeah. these kind of like topics what I'm looking for. I think maybe maybe you also find um, con I mean I think you'll find contrast or rawness or whatever uh, everywhere. <laughs> 
maybe even in that room or it, in, it depends what you're looking for but um, I think yeah my curiosity or that what me drives is, is basically yeah I guess this like certain places that feel for me somehow there's an edge on something or if it's I don't know the the people the the landscapes the um, maybe just the yeah, the feeling there, how it smells, like every, I think it's, yeah, there's some things that I feel like maybe I'm, what I'm looking for just exists there and sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm selecting this kind of places by planning it beforehand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are coincidences that happen and, and like for example in Haiti where I was, I didn't plan it beforehand and I got actually um, um, invited and, and introduced to this lady that uh, uh, is working there and so, so yeah, it really, it's, it's differently how, how these things also happen and where it leads me and yeah, yeah it was uh, I really wanted to do something in Athens in Greece mm. and then I went there to for a week to figure out for myself if this is the place what I'm maybe expecting and what I'm looking for or what I was interested in beforehand and I went there and it didn't inspire me at all like it didn't give me anything where I was like okay I need to go back there and I need to really dig deeper and um, so yeah this was actually it doesn't happen a lot but I don't know why but Athens didn't really inspire me yeah definitely I mean it's always about also the people you know you get to know there you meet there um, people you get introduced, so it's a lot about uh, the, um, yeah, the connection you get to certain people and if that doesn't uh, work, I think maybe my work doesn't work in that sense, so it's definitely, yeah, it's because if you're just you as yourself and you're, I mean if you want to maybe show the just the surface and not maybe dig deeper, it, it makes sense not to maybe deal too much with people there. But I think what I'm looking for, it's, it's very important to to um, to get along and to meet the people and the, the locals there, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that's something natural, I guess. And it's, I mean, you don't stay in touch with everyone you meet along there on your travels but of course there are friendships there are people that you're really connecting with and there are people you're learning stuff from and um, so yeah of, of course yeah. well I actually since I have a, a bit of a, a sad hand that's a bit broken I only did that to challenge my right hand and I don't really know but I think I, I was First thing, trying to press bracelet, but it's not really a bracelet because it's too small for my hand. <laughs> but maybe someone fits in there, and these are maybe the parts that if the bracelet breaks, or you can make it also bigger. So maybe not it fits. Um, and I chose the yellow one because yellow is my favorite color. And now I have to destroy it. <laughs> Can't use my right hand. <laughs> But that was a good discussion. <laughs> <laughs>